Right. Here is a four-sided spinner. The spinner is biased. The table shows the publishes that the spinner will land on one or on three. The two and the four is missing. Right, the probability that the spinner will land on two is the same as the probability that it land on four. So this number and this number will be the same according to the question. Work at the probability that the spinner will land on a four. So we're going to work at the missing values then. All probabilities add up to one. Right, so we're going to add these up and then take away from one. So 0 0.2 add 0 0.1. And then we know all probabilities add up to one, so take away from 0 0.3 leaves you with 0 0.7. Right, you cannot put 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 there, because if you did that, that altogether that'd be more than one. Remember, whatever goes here will be the same as this, but these two together add up to 0 0.7. But because they're the same, we're gonna split the 0 0.7. We're gonna half the 0 0.7. Right, so half of 0 0.7, uh, or if you like, Half of 0 0.70 is 0 0.35. Right, 0 0.35 is what I'm going to put here. 0 0.35. Right, next question. Shunya is going to spin the spinner 200 times. Work out an estimate for the number of times a spinner will land on three. Uh, just because it's an estimate, it doesn't mean you can just guess any numbers. Right? There's going to be some maths involved. So two marks there. Work out the estimate for the number of times a spinner will land on three, uh, which is this one here. Probability, we're dealing with probability, so we're working with this one, 0 0.1. So the probability of landing on a three is 0 0.1, only one in 10 chance. Spun 200 times, so you're going to do 0 0.1 times 200 that will give you 20 it's expected you're estimating or expecting it to land on 3 20 times if you spin it 200 times okay in reality that might not happen you know you could be extremely unlucky and it might not even land on 3 not even once out of the 200 times or it could be that you've spun it 200 times and it lands on 3 every single time Okay, very, very, very unlikely. But, okay, that the theory says that it should uh, land on the three 20 times if you spin it 200 times based on this probability. It's just an estimate. Stuart throws a bias coin 10 times, it lands on tail seven times, okay? Then Maxine has a go, she throws it 50 times, a lot more, and she gets 30 tails. Now, Prasha is going to throw the coin once. Whose results will get the better estimate for the probability that she will, la that she will get tails, Stuart, okay, or Maxine? Stuart or Maxine, right. Stuart has only tried the experiment 10 times, it's not enough. But Maxine's done it 50 times. So say Maxine. Say Maxine because she has had more trials. Right. Obviously, if somebody just throws a coin once and it lands on tail, right? that person can't assume that, oh, it's going to land on tails every single time, right? The more experiment you do, that you do, uh, the more accurate your knowledge is about what's happening. Next question. Use Stewart's and Maxine's result to work out an estimate for the probability that Prussia will get tails. All right. Um, so using Stewart and Maxine's results, uh, 30 plus seven, so it lands on tails 37 uh, times out of how many experiments have they done altogether? 60. 37 over 60 is your answer.